And the Union Cup is Europe's biggest LGBT plus inclusive rugby tournament. The two-day competition is being held in Dublin's DCU this weekend with 45 teams from 15 countries in the capital to participate. Ahead of the event, I went along to our Irish hopefuls host team, the Emerald Warriors, to gay crash their final training match. Here's how I got on. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to fall either. No, okay, maybe, try and catch the ball. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So where, my hands go up in the air? Yeah, you're just... Okay. No, no! One, two, two three. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. No! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> the history of the Emerald Warriors starting out in 2003 with just five guys throwing a bit of ball about and then working our way up two, three years later to where we had a full team in the Leinster Metro League, up until then 2014 where we had about 40 members, to this year we've about 160 members, that's three teams. And of course this weekend culminating in hosting the Union Cup is a massive achievement and a massive undertaking for the Emerald Warriors and the IRFU and all of your sponsors as well, exciting times. Absolutely, uh, and when we won the bid back in 2017, we knew back then there was about, I think, 800 players involved. We wanted to elevate it even further and we wanted to diversify the tournament itself by adding in women's side of the tournament this year. And we're bringing it up to 1,500 players from 15 different countries competing for that cup. Uh, I've been involved for the past two and a half years. So I'm not originally from Dublin. I moved from Derry and I was playing Gaelic up at home. So I wanted to find somewhere to, to train while I was playing Gaelic. So I actually heard the Emerald Warriors on the radio being talked about, they were promoting a calendar. So it sounded like a really interesting club. So I said I would go down and get involved. But now obviously that has completely transformed and I'm much more involved in, in the rugby side than, than, than the Gaelic side for sure. Really interesting that you didn't have prior history or knowledge um, of the game of rugby and now you're captain going into the Union Cup this weekend. I guess that's that's why the club is so good because it brings people from a whole different, all different levels um, to be able to play within the team. So players like myself that have never played before can train at their level and increase in their skills base. Um, at their own rate, um, but at the same time, we have players that have played um, AIL rugby that are playing for us now, played at very high levels at school, so we do have a very good mix within the team. Looking ahead to the Union Cup this weekend, you're not at it for fun, you're in it to win. So what's the strategy, what's the plan, and how do you fancy your chances? Yeah, the, I'd say the expectations are quite high on us, um, being the host, being the host team. It's something that we've known about for the past two years. I think the club has progressed um, within the leagues itself. We were competing in Division 9 this year. Um, we got into the league final. But yeah, we're taking it very seriously. We want, we definitely want to win. Um, we know it's going to be tough. We know it's going to be a challenge. There are some excellent teams out there as well um, who play at quite at a higher level than what we play at. Um, but we're confident, I think we're confident in our abilities and we're going to go out and put on a show and obviously take it as serious as we can. Rory, undoubtedly your presence here means a huge amount to the Emerald Warriors tonight, but I suppose the IRFU certainly in recent years have been very progressive by promoting diversity and inclusivity, haven't they? Yeah, massively. I think it's something that, that rugby kind of prides itself on in, in terms of the inclusivity stuff, you know, and, and I think traditionally that was always seen as sort of, you know, no matter what size, shape, speed, athleticism, there was a, a place for you on the team. Um, but I think now more recently, and, and rightly so, it, it's changed and it, it's really important that you know, people feel that they can be a part of the team. You know, a lot is made about, about mental health and, and the implications of that and, and I think it is important that we get out and, and as many people as possible promote the Union Cup. It's a safe place where you can come and you know, the best thing about a team is, is when you think you're at your lowest ebb and, and you kind of don't really know where to go to, that's whenever 
boys that, that slag you off all year very, very quickly become a comfort blanket or a shoulder support for you. And that is why team sport is brilliant. That's why I've loved it. And that's why it's great to see these guys out here getting ready for a big tournament, having the crack, but also they know they've got that support. The Irish rugby team are currently on a little bit of a break and well-deserved. They will be going into training camp very shortly ahead of the much anticipated World Cup in a few months' time. So how will preparations go during the summer? Look, it's going to be a, a tough uh, preparation. We get together on the 16th of June, and you know the World Cup seems like it's miles away, but it'll go by in a flash. And look, we have a we have a lot of work to do. We we know that, but we also know what we're capable of. And uh, look, it's it's really exciting. Um, and it'll, we look forward to getting back together and, and get knuckled down and, and try to produce something special. Whether it's on the World Cup stage or indeed the stage here at DCU this weekend, I suppose memories are made of this. They absolutely are, and, and I think that. What makes the memories all the more special is, is the kind of atmosphere that that's created. I know, I know the Union Cup. The guys are talking about you know creating almost like a carnival atmosphere. And, and like I say, let's hope people get out and create that atmosphere because I know myself playing in big tournaments that, that those are the things you remember. It's the sort of the, the atmosphere around the place, the, the fun that everyone's having while you're in the middle of the of the pitch and um, doing the serious work. So yeah, look, it'll be. This weekend will hopefully go really well uh, for the guys and we'll get together on the 16th of June and, and try to plan for our tournament to go really well for us. Oh, try and throw on my way. Yeah. Oh, so I got one. Together. Legs together, okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> now what do we do? Oh, yes, nice the tournament. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the grass catch at all. Yeah. <laughs> the tournament kicked off earlier this morning at Dublin's DCU. It continues until tomorrow evening, and you can check at unioncup.ie for ticket information. And the best of luck to our Emerald Warriors. And we should say also there's a ladies team, so the best of luck to the girls as well. Mm. There and they're playing weekend. today as well. They are playing today, yes, so there's several different matches. So oh, 45 today. teams, there's several teams coming wow. over from the UK and uh, wider Europe as well. A yeah. festival of rugby. Yeah, I know. It's mm. incredible, though, because all these guys obviously have full-time jobs yeah. and then they travel for training in the evening, so... Great, though, to have Rory Best down there, like, giving it a stamp. That's a huge boost, yeah. It's huge. Yeah. It is a huge, huge. boost, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. you know. Fair play to him. A lot of our colleagues will recognise one guy on the pitch as well, which is our lovely cameraman, Owen Kelly. So he was helping me that evening. He was filming <laughs> uh, for half of it um, with his rugby gear on, and then he ran out onto his uh, teammates. There he is there. And uh, and <laughs> then on. one of our other guys, Mark, took over. So thanks, Emil. So he doubled. Jobbed. He was double jobbing on the evening, yeah. Well, exactly. Good luck to him. Yeah, and, good and luck, the Owen. He'll be absolutely mortified yeah. now. Oh, yeah. he's in the middle of the playing. He's he's we all know. Yeah. Yeah. I look good in the jersey. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, it's a brilliant weekend. And yeah. it's great to see the publicity it's it's been getting ac uh, yeah. across the, the world, in fact. Yeah. And the yeah. iconic Guinness Gates, the brewery Guinness Gates, yeah. That's right, have been yeah. painted the in the bright colours, colours yeah, yeah. as supporters of this competition. That's yeah. cool. first time the, the black and white has ever been changed to anything else. Oh, really? They did it for yeah. this, so that's really? been nice to and see. And lovely touching tribute, I think, Anne-Louise Gilligan, Catherine Zappone's partner, who sadly passed away last year. The cup is named after her as oh, well. Oh, nice touch for the that now, isn't it? Oh, that's yeah. a lovely yeah. touch. Yeah. So. Go, Emerald Warriors. Go.